On the breakfast, President Mohamed Buhari nominates seven ministers to replace those who resigned recently to pursue their respective political aspirations. Also on the breakfast, ahead of the 2023 general elections, defections continue to trail political parties as three senators belonging to the All Progressive Congress have resigned their membership of the ruling party. And don't forget, we would also be looking through today's papers and bringing you great analysis of the biggest stories of the day. It's a beautiful morning. Thanks for joining us on The Breakfast on Plus TV Africa. I am Messia Bopo. And uh, I hope you're having a great day. Those who live in Lagos State, uh, I'm hoping that you're finding a way to cope with the scarcity and also the traffic and the cost of transportation. We're hoping that all things would be sorted out as soon as possible. I mean, this is just me being hopeful right here. But we get straight to the crux of the matter. As always, we start off with top trending conversation on uh, different spaces. Now, first on the, on the page this morning is the fact that uh, the president has given an order. As a commander-in-chief of the armed forces, Buhari orders the rescue of Abuja Kaduna train attack victims. Now, that was on Twitter, his verified Twitter, Twitter handle, where you have at M. Buhari, that's the presidential uh, or the president's Twitter handle, I beg your pardon, because you have the president and the presidency. Now, the president... On his Twitter handle, it reads, I have directed our security and intelligence agencies to scale up and speed up efforts to secure and save release of the remaining abducted uh, Abuja Kaduna train passengers. My directive is very clear. All hostages must be brought home alive and as soon as possible. Right. And you also have, I welcome the safe return of the recently released passengers to their families and loved ones. I am reiterating my solemn pledge to the families of those still in captivity. We will not relent until every single hostage is safely back home with their families. Uh, that's, that's from the president, uh, as has been tweeted yesterday. But something that was very, very obvious is the fact that uh, comments were also disabled. So on the, the president's Twitter handle, the microblogging platform, you, you can't really find any comments right there. Mm, I really don't know. It was really disabled. Questions has also, have also been flying uh, about regarding this particular one, uh, despite the fact that Nigerians have not been able to get, engage the president via his Twitter handle. But the question is, why is this president speaking at this point in time? How many days before the attack? I mean, why is the president giving the order? Does the president really need to give an order before the security agencies or, or personnel swing into action of identifying this person, of going out and ensuring that this person is also brought to book? I mean, we're talking about uh, terrorists right here. And some people are saying, we have had several measures, especially at the time where, in 2015, the president came on the platform. He came uh, with, you know, uh, an agenda. Three of them. Security was top on the bonnet, the economy, and the fight against corruption. And some people are saying, how far has the president fared with insecurity? And should the president be speaking at this point, how many more times, I mean, how long uh, should should we wait before the statement, you know, comes from the president? Now, what happens now that the president has given this order? How will this person be arrested? Now, we're talking about terrorists here. What's going on with the negotiation and ransoms or ransom that uh, families are being, uh, are being made to pay just to ensure that they secure their loved ones? Now, these are some of the questions that are begging for answers. But um, answers really not here. I really don't know if you have an answer. But Nigerians are questioning, Nigerians are asking uh, several questions, and we hope that we eventually get answers as a people. But let's move away from the instructions and uh, the directive from Mr. President. Another one is that Peter Albi will do well as a Minister of Economy, Ned Woke, is quoted on that. Uh, we're talking about a philanthropist who is very popular, very known, 
uh, he said yesterday that Peter Obi would do well as a minister of economy. He does not have the structure and Igbos are not ready for the presidency. Now, this is also another conversation that's getting a lot of persons talking. And let's tell you about what people are saying. Number one is uh, the, the Peter Obi, and Nigerians are saying, the, the, the Peter Obi candidacy, it's not uh, an Igbo candidacy, it's a Nigerian candidacy. And why we, we constantly always push, uh, you know, push and press for um, religious sentiment. But as, as far as we know, a lot of persons and political pundits are saying that we're more divided than we were in 2015, in 2019, in 1999. We're further divided. And we statement as this, is this what we should be talking about? Should we be concerned about an Igbo president? Or should we be concerned about the fact that he's an Nigerian? But these are the issues. And some persons are saying, when you talk about structures, structures are not made by spirit. Human beings create and make up the structures. And so they are saying that Nigerians have come together to give him the st structure and what it takes for him to become president come 2023. And that's it. But away from that, we move away to another one. A very, very disturbing, big following all of the trend that you have. Now, the police have actually ordered Portable to report to the nearest uh, police station. Uh, we're talking about the artists. I mean, if you talk about the popular song that everyone knows about, with that collaboration with Olamide, uh, the Zazu uh, star, if you like to say, that's what has been called. Uh, there's been a lot of reports, and there's a video that actually went uh, viral where you could see him uh, involved in assaulting another individual. I mean, it was more like a gang attack at the end of the day, and that has called for a lot of concern. Uh, people are saying, hey, rather than arrest him, let him get to uh, you know, a rehabilitation center because uh, the, it could just be an influence of drugs and what have you. Uh, these are the conversations generating different reactions in different spaces. That's the much for our top trending this morning. We'll take a break. When we return, we'll be heading straight to the front pages of a national dailies. Please stay with us. Shh.